Let's look at some of the powerful editing features found in the Montage Editor in WaveLab. The Montage Editor is a very flexible, object-oriented editing environment that makes it ideal for doing very complicated editing tasks. To start a new montage, we'll go to our switcher and click on the Montage icon. Select New. This will bring different presets that we could use. So if I want more features enabled by default, I could click on Ultimate or fewer features, power user. And for this example, we'll actually look at our moderate setting. So I'll hit OK. Now this will also bring us up to our audio montage properties. So we can set our channel configuration. So if I want it to be stereo or multi-channel, in this example, I'll choose stereo. Now I will have several different tabs available on the top. So if I wanted to look at my files on my system, I could do that, or clips, marker views, or different effects. I could also have my CD functionality, my VU meters, as well as my spectrometer metering view. So say I wanted to uh, add a file, I could right click here, select insert audio files, or I could just drag from my file browser. And we'll go ahead and play. Now, one of the things we're going to do in sample editors all day is zooming. So if I wanted to come right here, I could actually take my cursor right onto my main part of the timeline and just move, hold while holding down the mouse button, move the cursor up and down, and I could zoom right down to the sample level. So I'm going to start playing at a different point in the song. Now let's say I wanted to do something as simple as a fade in. I could just grab my center axis dot at the beginning of the clip. Or if I wanted to do a fade out, I could also choose to have the clip start and end at different points. I can move the whole clip. I could also have the clip slip within itself. So if I wanted to slip uh, the audio file within the clip. Now adding additional volume points is very easy. If I wanted the whole clip louder or softer, move the line. If I wanted to add a new point, double click on the axis and now you could have a new point. So if I wanted to add a point here, now once I've done that I could also come over here into my focus clip browser and if I wanted that to be a little smoother, it says being so jagged, I could just click on envelope smoothing or I could turn that off. Now my amplitude doesn't have to be just limited to what we see here on this line. I could select other points as well. So if I wanted to go to my envelope view, I could actually set this to be panning instead. So now if I wanted to pan that will show. So instead of being the paradigm of a mixer fader, I could actually just kind of do my panning and my fades all right there. Now we can also, if I wanted to right click, we'll get different functionality as we right click. So depending on where we right click, you'll see that the actual icons will change a little bit. And as the icons change, we'll get different functionality. So let's say I wanted to repeat this clip and we'll repeat it let's say three times and now I could come right over there and now I have my repetition of my clips now if I wanted to automatically we'll go back to square one and let's say we're gonna have our unlimited levels of undo but let's say I wanted to repeat this clip three more times and I wanted a space of one second between each of the clips I can now have that gap now one of the great things with WaveLab is how easy it is to do crossfades. So let's say I have several crossfades kind of set up and we'll go ahead and take a listen. So as this clip is gonna fade out, let's say I needed more time with that clip. I could just take this clip right here and just physically drag it over and it'll do a real time crossfade for you. So let's go ahead and listen to as that clip fades out. And 
now we'll have the next clip fade in. Now, if I wanted to actually change my actual crossfade, right click and I could say I wanted a sinusoid fade out, but a exponential fade in. So we can do that. Now, working with crossfades across multiple clips can often be problematic in sample editor. So let's say I've painstakingly set up these crossfades here in my other clips, and I move this clip to adjust a crossfade. We'll see that these crossfades are affected. But what I could do now is just hold down my Shift key, and now I could actually lock those crossfades. So if I wanted just these crossfades to be locked that I've kind of set up meticulously. I can now, if they're all selected, all their crossfades will stick. Now I could also kind of just do this for if I wanted like every other clip to be selected. I'll hold down my shift key and now my command key and now I could just lock those two crossfades. So this is really ideal where uh, crossfade editing could be incredibly particular like in classical music. Now, our montage isn't limited to just being a stereo track. In the full version of WaveLab, we have many, many tracks. So if I wanted to click here, I could add a stereo track above or below or a mono track. And let me go ahead and insert a file. And let's say I wanted to do something uh, like a voiceover. I'll add mix this file into my montage. And we'll go ahead and zoom in. And let's say I wanted this voiceover clip to start right here. Welcome to Steinberg's WaveLab. So again, if I wanted to zoom in, I'll just come right here. And let's say I wanted this voiceover clip to be louder or softer. I could do that. Or if I wanted to just only to kind of crop the beginning of the phrase. To Steinberg's WaveLab. I could do that, or again, slip the audio within the phrase. So this way I could have my defined section of my audio and have that automatically conform to the file. Let's say I wanted the actual file to stop, right, the voiceover file to stop. Welcome as to Steinberg's WaveLab. I'm gonna move my cursor to right there, and then I could right click, and I'll say time stretch to cursor. So we'll come right over here, hit okay, and now the file will automatically Welcome to Steinberg's WaveLab. fit directly within that specified time. Now when we have a lot of voiceover clips, let's say I'll choose to repeat this clip and we'll put uh, about, let's say a couple seconds between each clip. And let's say I have multiple clips and I want it to have a ducking effect. So if I wanted to come here, I could actually just Instead of having Welcome to manually to kind of draw in my points of my file so that the music bed will duck down, I will actually just come right here and right click and we'll say duck according to other track. So as I come over here, I could define the duration of my duck, how many dB goes down, and I'll hit OK. So now we'll just see that every time that the track Welcome to Steinberg's WaveLab. The backing track will automatically do docking. So this makes it ideal for doing radio broadcasting, uh, doing spots for commercials. Very, very easy in the montage. Now our montage can also have be run through our master section. So we can have up to 10 effect slots here on our master section. But we could also come right over here and we could have clip based effects. So if I wanted to come right over here, I could actually just click right here on my effects. And if I wanted to add an effect slot, I could just come right here and say I wanted to have any VST, VST3 plugin. So let's say I wanted to have a, an e EQ. We'll add an EQ right here just to that clip. We could do that. Now, I could also add effects other way. So if I wanted to take uh, this clip right here and right click, I could just simply 
add an effect slot directly on a clip. So this way, all of my effects can be either global or could be tied in directly as a clip-based environment. Now to take my multi-track files and be able to actually turn that into a WAV file, I would just click on the render button here on my master section. The audio files used in the montage will now be rendered as either a stereo or multi-channel audio file that you could use to burn to CD, MP3, or DVD-A. So now you can see how incredibly flexible the montage editing environment in WaveLab is.